besides it for a long time, and he's also just a bigger dude, so he's got like he's he's going up in the numbers. But I've been teaching him form because uh, I've got the form for squats and deadlifts and stuff. And it's been good. Okay, uh, so this is the other side of losers' quarters. We got G Money and S Fat. G Money, for people who don't know, a big teams lover. Really old. Uh, unironically, uh, one of the better teams players of all time. Definitely, like, he's, he's got results all over the place. I know maybe newer May players may not be as familiar, but mm -hmm. G Money is extraordinarily talented in teams. Yeah, and S Fat has a case for goat in teams. So yeah, uh, that's right. So you know, so obviously, it's gonna be a solid team no matter what. Me and me good. and G Money actually teamed in one of the big houses. We did pretty good. We beat some. We took out some top names. I'm not gonna put them on blast right now. You can do it. You want me to? Okay, we beat Professor Pro and Chillin' Dude. And it was really yeah. funny, because Chillin' was playing like ass. And so we beat him game one, it was close, right? And then yeah. me and G Money leaned into each other. And then I was like, was a quarter. He's like, he's like, he's like, <laughs> we just messed up chill a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Professor, I felt so bad for Prof because Prof was playing out of his mind. Like he could not keep up with how fast we kept. I mean, Chillin was like SD in like three times a game. It was bad. Anyway, love, love Chillin, dude. <laughs> well, we all love. We all love right Chillin, dude. So but uh, much I just, love to, to the homies. just had to throw that in there. I thought it was a funny act there. Yeah, for sure. But anyway. Anyway, um, uh, so we have uh, them doing okay. Uh, Chango's still playing stupid well. Uh, Chango is, dude, he's so good. He Chang doesn't, I don't think he travels much, but every time I see him, he's um, just putting on a, you know, a solid performance. Chang's doing the thing of being just far away enough and then, like, moving in at the perfect time. And his awareness is so good, right? Like, yeah. I feel like as a Puff in teams, I think in singles, Puff has this kind of advantage of, like, okay, you can slow the game down and play at this... You can play this style as Puff in singles where the opponent has to play at your pace, okay? But I think in doubles, it doesn't really work that way for Puff. And this is why, actually, a lot of the time, if you talk to any of these really, really established doubles players like s and PPU, they used to kind of talk about how they felt like Puff was overrated in teams. Not actually that strong at the top level because, on the f unlike in singles, Puff kind of has to adapt to the pace of the match. Puff can't, sometimes Puff can't keep up with everything that's going on in a doubles match, right? So you really have to be precise about where you are and when. And I think right now we're seeing Chango be extremely good at that. Picking his spots really well, right? I, I, I think the most impressive thing is like sometimes pubs fall into the habit of like basically being too far away, like not impacting the match. Yeah. And Chango has actually been like so in there without like drifting in and just getting hit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and that's a really hard balance to strike. It's just, it's just super difficult. It's it is. Super yeah. Great. Unfortunately though, like the 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 red team's still doing quite well, you know, for the for their side at least. They're kind of bringing it back, yeah. I mean, I think a lot's going to come down to who loses the next couple of stocks. Um, if they can keep Chango alive, and if they can take these two red team stocks, then they're going to have. Okay, but see, there you go. Yeah. Chango loses his stock, and now. I mean, Eddie just slap him. We used to call it the team's math. There's this like element of team's math where right now, stocks wise, red team is winning. Yeah. But if the green, all the green team needs. Is one kill. Is and one, 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 one hit on the Marth and one hit on the Fox. And in yeah. theory, if they can get those hits, but unfortunately, see, the red team is piling up damage without getting hit. Yeah. So the team's math didn't work in their favor there. Now it's a solid lead. This is, this is a real Now lead. it's a real, real, real lead. So even if they kill Marth here, Puff's going to be at 88. Chango's going to have to play like really, really. You just can't do anything. You know, it's kind of like a, when. Um, what's his name? I was watching the, I was watching the finals. Which finals? Oh, Celtics oh. versus Warriors. Dude, no spoilers on game three. Don't say No, it. but just, just you know, okay, when a, player, when a player has like four or five fouls, and you know sure. all of a sudden they kind of have to just... Oh, Draymond Green. Draymond Green or uh, like Smart, right? When a player's just got a lot of fouls and they kind of, it's like, ah, uh, I can't really force the issue anymore because I'm going to get taken out of the game. Got and we got and, and when you've got three of the players at zero, but then Chango's sitting at 90, there's so much less that the green team can do. Right. I also think that like, you bring up I hope Brandon point. or someone is a chat that no, actually no. follows basketball so they can tell me how, what they thought of that uh, analogy. I, I think I what you're, uh, another going off what you're trying to say is that mm -hmm. like when a, when a player is at a high amount of fouls, like people are looking like, oh, you should just leave him in and see what happens in basketball. Yeah. But the thing is, it makes it so that they can't really play defense. Right, and exactly. In a very similar way here, if you're a high percent in melee, you can't really interact as easily you can. because you can yeah. just die. You can't take the same risks. Yeah, on earlier in the game, it's whatever. I mean, you're going to go down in stocks. That's not that big a deal. But yeah. when it comes down to those, like, 
either, especially last stock where everyone's on last stock, or like even situations where some people have one stock, some people have two stocks, you really start to feel it. Right. And I think that really happened there. I think the most important stocks in that game were the stocks where um, S energy money were sitting at two stocks apiece, and they just did a really good job not getting hit, just really prioritizing safety over everything else. I like that. s just trusting. Um, I will say, I mean, there's a world where when you're really practiced, you see G-Money was shielding by the ledge. When you're really, really, really in cohesion with your teammate, s could have trusted that G-Money would just hold shield, and he can run up and actually just up smash through the shield. But I think that, and, and if it was Pew Pew or somebody that he's like, teamed with for years, like, yeah. that's the kind of play you can make. But I think given that it's uh, someone who doesn't probably team with very often, they didn't go for that kind of play there because you really got to know they're going to hold shit. And that, that's exactly what uh, G-Money talked to me about before the event. Uh, mm. I, I had lunch with him and a few others. Yeah. He was like, I think we'll, we'll do well, but I'm worried that basically we won't know what each other's going to do. I'm not worried about figuring out the opposing team. I'm worried about like him not knowing what I'm going to do and I'm not knowing what he's going to do. And so we'll see situations which we both normally react to, and then we're afraid the other person's gonna like swing or do a move, uh -huh. and that's gonna like get us in a bad spot. Uh -huh. So that kind of like that little doubt uh, is, is something that they're worried about. But I mean, they're still pretty far in the tournament, so we'll see how it ends right, up. Right, right, right. Of course, this stage tends to be really good for the floaty team. A little overrated, by the way, for the floaty team, because a little bit. What's right. what's great about the stage is, of course, the survivability. But what's bad is that it often means that there's a lot of 2v1 in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And also, I just think, like, like you can call it the neutral, you can call it whatever you want, but um, moments like this, where SFAT's going to go to the top platform, he's going to kind of weave in and out. Uh, it's it's pretty hard um, for Puff and Luigi to really get up there and contest. So SFAT's going to be able to play in almost like another dimension that the green team almost kind of doesn't have access to in that same way, right? Oh, wow. wow that, that was an up, up incredible here. use of the invincibility. Um, really was. That was the thing that PewFat was always the best at, is that when they took out one of one uh, character, yeah. they would immediately take out the other one. Like, it's almost like the other the other guy who was getting 2v1, even you know, for a second or two. It wasn't very, very often. Uh -huh. You know? They would just die. Mm -hmm. they, they, they would try to play and run away, and they would always have it covered because they would kill and sink. And, Kind of got a taste of that in that sequence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I love that follow. Oh my god, G Money. G Money, oh, if he got that, that downer, that would have been uh, beautiful. Yeah. Still. It looked, it looked like an okay idea. Too. Yeah, I mean, even still, the whole sequence was, I think, really, really good. Back. Oh, I love that back. I love, S I love the throw, yeah. So good. I think a lot of players, right, probably saw Marth get that grab and they're thinking, well, you, you throw him off stage here, don't you? But no. that's you're seeing G Money being on that level where he's really uh, in, in cohesion with his teammate right now. Okay, there's gonna be a recovery attempt, but nice downer from G-Money. And I love that s just stayed there, protected the mark, and let the mark do it. Yeah, just wall out the teammate. Yeah. Just make it so there's no interference. You gotta trust your teammate to a certain degree. Okay, oh wow, just two falls from the top left and four smashes. Oh, the Luigi's getting 2v1 right now. This is what I'm talking about with Dreamland sometimes. Oh, oh he didn't, oh, yeah. oh Okay, is, yeah, yeah, just let the Fox do it anyway, yeah. <laughs> down throw? Oh, okay, well. Yeah, probably down throw. Okay, I mean, Luigi travels kind of weird through the air, so. Don't really blame him for missing that. This is a really, really rough spot right now. Okay, 101, I mean, that's going to be up smash kill percent for sure from the Fox. So now if G-Money gets a grab, which he does. Yep, yes. there it is. And and on a big stage like that, there's really no way for Chango to get there in time. In a situation yeah. like that. Fox well, that's the downside always, of playing Fox. Right, Fox. Uh, 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 Puff, sorry. Right, Fox is always just going to be there. Yeah, and that's going to be, you know, especially in these 2v1 scenarios, um, that's going to be their game plan. That's where Marth's grab gets really, really strong, where you know g Money's always going to be looking for the grab. Because if he gets a grab, it's going to be a kill. We look for one right there, but even getting grabbed himself, that back throw is just going to have too much lag on it. And uh, s that's there in the nick of time. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, G1 and s if they, if they continue on after this set. We'll see um, if they stick with Marth Fox, because yeah. even in, I know the, their winner set, which they went down, two of the three games, they were they were Falco. 
uh, G Money was playing Falco. And I, really? I, yeah. Which, you know, he does on occasion for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, does, it's funny Brody. because I, I almost think for most players, Falco feels like a more comfortable team's character, but. But you're playing you're playing uh, with S Fat, who's like. He is life, known life to be blood is, it, It's playing with Mark, right? Yeah. And, like, look how good this looks. Like, th this right here at this beginning feels like they're finally getting their groove, which is terrifying for anyone who's left in the bracket. Because if they're trying to, if they're figuring out how to play teams together, like, in the mid tournament, that could be rough. I mean, this feels like the kind of team that's going to get stronger as the tournament goes on. Because exactly. they're going to kind of, you know, they're going to work in those team plays. Um, they don't have two heavy hitters in the way that it seemed like, I don't know, Samoki or whatever does. Yeah. But, yeah, on the flip side, and also, I think Marth. I think Marth is a very high, what's the word, high skill character in teams. Right. You Marth like is a hard ton to make work in teams. You do. Both, both. Like it, the, your your team has to work to make it work. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they can't just let you play. Yeah. They have to be a part of the, the game plan. R right. And so, this is the kind of team that I think will get stronger uh, as the bracket goes on. Ooh, look at us back it's going. Okay. Yeah. Did, I mean, this base that perfectly, but it. Eh, you know, it happens. was kind of the right idea. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe G Money could have just gone for a tipper, would have been a little bit stronger, but ooh, wow. What a pick up there. That was really good. Wow, look at this position. Yeah, G Money just keeping that going. Look at this position. Whoa. Oh, actually. Careful, careful. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, no way to save him there. Oh no, Chango with a bit of an SD, although he was at 120. It bears a. Uh, Obviously, still insanely good for Green Team for getting that stock. Right. right. Whoa. That's right. Okay. That's right. Finally, losing it, the first. It's time. actually though, like Fox couldn't actually done much there. <laughs> like I, I don't think usually you see like, oh, teammate has to do something. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really sure what he could have done. Mm -hmm. It was just a really bad spot for Mark. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. So much damage on the line. That was like <laughs> Unfortunately, damage. unfortunately, he is now kind of a kill percent. Whoa. Like that. I almost, um, oh wow. I like G Money. He's been going for a lot of these early uppies when um, Chango goes to try to edge guard him. Yeah, that early uppie is something you're not really going to go for in singles that often because of the risk it's involved. It's pretty good in teams because uh, one of the things is that um, you know your teammate, after they get knocked away, can come in there. Yeah, and I think there's just a little bit more time pressure um, yeah. where you've got to get it right quicker. You know, there's just there's just more of an element of like, if I don't get it done, the edge guard done now, the teammate's gonna swoop in and kind of mess things up. So people try to like get in position for the edge guard, and then uh, G Money just lets the up be rip really early, and they're not like they're, they're not ready for it. Like they want to really get it get it perfect. S Fat right now, uh, he might even go to the top platform, but that was nice to just go down. Oh, oh, wow, that actually. Makes it a pretty good situation for the green team. Yeah, this Crazy is competitive how now. Turns that out. Like Chango has been keeping uh, the team alive. First with Ooh. that edge guard on the mark on the left side, and now with that huge rest. Oh wow! I love G Money going to the top. Very rarely, right? Is a Marth going to go to the top platform to like play the oh invisible, invisible ceiling on. back air ends up taking out Eddie. Uh oh, that was a really bad full hop forward air from yeah. G Money. It just shot shoot. his jump. Oh my god, actually survived. Yeah. I can't believe it. I mean, it was all thanks to S Fat. Yeah, S Fat completely saved him. Let's see, Chango has a hard time getting around the Mark Zone 8. Uh oh. Eddie getting controlled by S Fat, but now getting almost 2v1. G Money's. Oh, G I thought G Money was going to grab him, and I think that would have been a kill. But okay, I, yeah, it looks like Red Team might end up taking this. Yeah. That's about low Oh, forward smash by the ledge. Mark's supposed to grab ledge here in this team competition. Yeah, yeah you just want to get the up smash on the stage, and that is going to be a 3-0.